what would be the hyoid bone, or the, thumb, the tongue bone, and in the back, bring down the um, nuchal ligament to the back of the body, and put the jaw in here so you get your grounding. And there's an Adam's apple thyroid cartilage, and a cricoid thyroid cartilage, and a muscle coming to the, uh, as we view it, to the uh, clavicle. And the clavicle has a form that's seen throughout this illustration, even though it's not on the surface. The surface is, oh, I'm sorry, I started before you started, right? No you worries. Started before? I got it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Okay, good. I totally forgot you were going to record. So the surface um, is going to be the platysma, and it's going to be coming up in a thin, fibrous form up into the chin. And I hope that when I pass this around, you'll pay attention to it. It comes along and it, the way the artist has drawn it, it moves around the clavicle, above the clavicle, showing the form of the clavicle, and the fibers come on up. And then it's pierced by the external jugular vein. Uh, and that's what sometimes you'll see some, someone from the side getting very excited or working very hard and there'll be a, um, a form, I, we'll just let that ring, um, which was the external jugular. Did Roger get back? Is he lost? Well, we won't worry. Don't worry about it. He knows he has nine minutes. <laughs> Life is all always full of surprises. So, and then also when the artist described the platysma coming up around the chin, uh, there's a darkness to show that the uh, the depth has changed. Then it comes up towards the flesh, and there's a muscle called depressor of the angle of the mouth which originates partially from it and partially from bone. So that's the first level of exposure of muscles if, if you were to be dissecting a body. Tell me when the five minutes is up. Did you get that? You got another 40 seconds. 40 seconds, okay. The ear here is very nicely described. Of course, it's cartilage. And uh, it shows us where everything is. And I always encourage people to use the ear uh, whenever you see an ear on a quick pose or a long pose, put your position on the ear and because the ear is right in front of the mastoid process. And on the next drawing uh, illustration, uh, we're going to see the sternocleidomastoid uh, defining the um, structures underneath the platysma. Since the platysma is so thin, it really almost doesn't matter unless you have, unless you're older and it makes those those falling lines, or unless, um, well, unless you uh, con contract the fibers and have muscle of regret. And, um, and uh, later on, we'll, when we keep going, we'll have uh, Roger demonstrate some of the muscle structures and bony structures in the neck. Are you ready?